Lightmatica is an incredible schematics mod which helps with building so much, especially with building complicated farms and complicated builds that you just don't want to copy block for block. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.20.1. At Slightmatica is so good for farm building, you can actually find all of the schematics for farms that I feature in my videos on my Patreon. So if you want to download any of my farm design schematics for your own worlds to help you build them, then you can find that on my Patreon linked down in the description. Quickly, before we get to downloading, we all know that Minecraft is more fun with friends. And what better time to start a new server with 1.20 than right now? And to host that server, you shop by it. Use my referral link down in the description and use code SALMONUP at checkout for 25% off your first month and set up an awesome server for you and your friends. I use Shockbite for all of my servers, including this one, HavenMC. You can play it using the IP play.havenmc.co.uk. Let's get to downloading. So to use Lightmatica, there are three things you need to download. You need to download the Fabric Loader, Malilib, and Lightmatica. We need to download Malilib because Lightmatica relies on it, but the first thing you're going to want to download is the Fabric Installer. This will be the first link down in the video description. And while you're down there, don't forget to like the video if this helps you out. So first thing you want to do is download the launcher. So once that has finished downloading, we then want to go into our downloads file and find the Fabric Installer. Double click that to open it and then select the version of Minecraft you want to download it for. We're going to be doing it for 1.20.1 as that is the most recent version of Minecraft. And then all you have to do is click install. And there we go. Fabric Loader has now been installed for 1.20.1. You can close that. And the next file we're going to download is Malilib. So this will be the second link down in the description. And once you're on this page, you then want to click on files and you want to find the file that lines up with the game version we're going to be using. As you can see, this game version is 1.20.1. It also works for 1.20 as well. So we can download this version. So let's just click on it. And then we can click the download button. In a few seconds, it will start downloading. And three, two, one. Oh! Ooh, there it is. We now have that installed as well. And then we could do the same thing for Lightmatica. So this will be the third link down in the description. Come onto the files page, locate the game version that we're going to be using. Again, 1.20 and 1.20.1. This is the one we're going to be using. And then just hit download on that. Same business. So three, two, one. And then we will download the next file. You can then find them in your downloads file as well. And now we want to put it in our .minecraft file. So what we're going to do is going into the search bar and we're going to search percent app data percent. So percent app data percent. And then you can click on that folder and this will open your app data roaming folders. So once we're in here, you then want to double click on Minecraft and this will open your .minecraft file. If you've already played with mods, there should already be a mod folder. But if you haven't played with mods, there might not be a mod folder yet. Once you've installed the fabric installer and you've opened it, the mod folder should appear. But if it hasn't appeared just yet, you can click new folder and type in mods, or you can launch the fabric installer through the actual Minecraft installer, and it should also create that. Either way, you can create it yourself or it will be created for you. So what you want to do now is open your mods folder and all you have to do is drag the two newly downloaded files into your mods folder. Just the Malilib and the Lightmatica files are all you need in your mods folder. And now you should be good to go. Let's open up the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, we now have the Fabric Loader 1.20.1 installed. And all we have to do is click play. And as you can see, it works. We've got the Lightmatica menu in the bottom left. You can see me scrolling through it. And let's say that I want to select the schematic. There we go. This is the Breaking Bedrock video from my latest Breaking Bedrock video. If you want to go and check that out, the link will be down in the description. And that's how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.20. I really hope that this video has helped you guys out. If it has, don't forget to like and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel out. This is also a two-part video series as this is the downloading and installing one. And then we will have a how to use Lightmatica video coming out very soon. Once I upload that video, the link to it will be down in the description to figure out how to use this mod. Once again, if you want to set up a Minecraft server, make sure to use Shockbite with the referral link down in the description and use code SALMONUP at checkout 25% of your first month. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. If you want to download my own farm schematics, make sure to check out my Patreon linked down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.